Hello everyone, and welcome back to Mythic Ocean, where we are currently trying to find the scraps and pieces of the myths that are scattered through this world, and discover what the future holds with the reborn gods who are now here. But before we go any further, I have a promise to an old fish to deliver. Thrill. I've got some friends who say there's a party out there I might like. They say it never ends and just keeps going on and on. That's impossible, right? Ever been to the kelp forest? I bet you'd like it there. There's just an endless party happening. Nope, never been. So the kelp forest is a hot spot, huh? It's hip, it's happening? Totally. For parties in the ocean, it can't be beat. Right on. That must be where my, the place my friends were talking about. I'm gonna go check it out. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> Have fun. Whoa. Alright, so maybe now that he's in the kelp forest, I wonder if that may have changed something. Let's go and see if he's there. Because it does seem like you can actually influence what happens. Oh, some of the fish have disappeared. Look, there's a new one over here now. So you can influence what goes on here. Hey, buddy. This place, it's even better than I hoped. So many color, sounds, interesting folks. It's a feast for the senses, you know? I'm glad he's enjoying himself. What do these two think of it? Hello, darling. Happy to speak with the life of the party again, I hope. As always. Very good. Tell your friends you met me, won't you? <laughs> Alright, then what's going on here? Hey, how's it going, buddy? Gotta say, I'm pretty jealous of you. Getting to talk to the life of the party like this. I thought Glitter was the life of the party. Huh? Who the heck are you talking about? Look, I've never heard that name. Someone's been messing with you. Someone who's a little full of themselves, I think. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so, now that we've taking care of that, it does seem like you can have an effect on the characters in the world. <clears throat> Pardon me. To say it more immersively, on those who live in the ocean. I know I've definitely been having an effect on the different gods we've run into. It seems I had the biggest effect on little Lutra, who I really have kind of fallen for. Very cute little one. Let's do a bit of exploring and see where we can go next. Like, through this cave. Where will this lead us? Okay, that's not scary at all. Is this where I came from? This is where I came from. So you can even come all the way back over here. Oh, that's fascinating. But what am I supposed to do now? Is there anything else to find here? I mean, this is the cave where I emerged from. Is there a scrap somewhere? A memory? Anything to guide me? Because I think we've explored all of the areas, but I just can't seem to find... Oh, that's Moss Cavern, way over there now. Yeah, I just can't seem to find where to go next, so let's go ahead and teleport back over to Alil. And maybe the twins! I wonder if maybe them talking with the twins will help, but let's see how he's doing. Hey, how's it going? Look at the chat for a bit. Do the gods know their gods? Do they know about the new world? Nope. You've probably noticed that by now if you talk to them enough. They won't ever understand it, buddy. You could try to tell them, but why would they believe you? It's prob It'd probably ruin the whole process if they knew anyway. How do we know when it's time for the new world to be born? See those tablets in here? The ones with the symbols carved into them? Have a look at them. They'll give you some hints about where all this is headed and when it's going to get there. Okay, let's actually look at the tablets really quickly. Alright. Lutra has one. They're all connected and glowing now. No, no, here's Lutra, I think. With four. Five. Five. I haven't met this one yet. Kelp forest, huh? Interesting. Alright, so the tablets show different amounts of influence. And still, this god is the one that only has one. I don't think that has changed since we met them. Am I able to do anything? Alright, so let's talk about the gods. I want to know how much one of the gods likes me. I want to know what one of the gods is thinking. Which god do you think is going to create the new world? Hmm, let me think about that. If I were to guess, I'd put my money on Ketri or Esti, or Lutra. Anything else you want to talk about? So it seems like those two have the most strength right now. 
Uh, let's see. I want to know what, what one of the gods is thinking. Lutra's way of thinking. Hmm. Well, let's not kid ourselves. Lutra spends a whole lot of time thinking about food. Which is understandable when it's so hungry. But other creatures are going to start suffering if Lutra can't find a way to rein itself in. Maybe that's just the way nature works, though. Survival of the fittest and all that. Endless hunger and endless curiosity. That's right. Anything else you want to ask about? What does what do the twins think of me? The twins seem to like you just fine, from what I can tell. You could be closer, though. There's room for improvement. Anything else you want to talk about? What about... What are the twins thinking? Hmm. Well, Katra and Esty have always been prickly. I wouldn't say that's changed. They don't really trust anyone, and sometimes they seem downright hostile, eh? They've been through some difficult stuff. I think it's just their way of protecting themselves. And honestly, it's worked pretty well so far. Anything else you want to talk about? No, I think we're good. Alright. Hmm. So that leaves me with the perplexing question of what to do next. Let's go see the twins. Maybe working on trying to talk. Twins! You're in a new place! Oh, hey there. Did you need something? Have you had a chance to play with Amar again? Um, no. Why? He'd be... He said he'd be coming to visit you soon. Huh. Well, Amar never showed up. That's just like before. Amar says they'll come see us, but they never do. They don't really care, do they? Nope. Amar is a jerk. You never know if they mean what they're saying, or if they're just telling you what they want, think you want to hear. Let's see. That's not necessarily true. Let me talk to Amar and see what their side of the story is. Look, we know Amar way better than you, okay? Yeah, you don't get it. We're sick and tired of wishing people cared when they really don't. Ooh, I think we're striking at the heart of the matter here. If you really want to change Amara's mind, fine, go for it. But don't get your hopes up. Alright, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Uh, have you seen the big pod in the moss cavern? Yeah, we know that thing. It's weird the way it talks to you in your head. We used to check up on it to see if anything would happen to it, but it never did. When I went there, I found a little bug called Lutra was living inside. No way, we never saw that. Yeah, huh, I wonder why it never showed up for us. You think it would still be there if we went? Maybe. Maybe we can play some games with it or something. Yeah, good idea. This is going to be great. <gasps> New bug buddy. Oh, that's so fun. All right. Well, you two hang out. I'm going to go ahead. And I guess now my goal is to go back. I'm going to go talk to freaking... What on earth does he think he was doing? Being so rude to the twins. <sighs> you just do what you want, don't you, buddy? Oh, hi again. How's it going? Uh, the twins told me you haven't visited them yet. Well, uh, I mean, they're not wrong. You know how it goes, friend. You put something off because it makes you nervous, and then it just never happens. <sighs> I know what you mean, but the twins are counting on you to be there, right? Or it's no excuse, though. You said you'd do it, and now you owe it to the twins. I mean, but I do know what you mean. Uh, procrastination, being afraid of things. <sighs> I let that rule my life for way too long and it destroyed so many opportunities for me. It turned out the nervousness was never really something I needed to be that stressed about in the end. I always made it worse in my head than it actually happened, and even when things went wrong, I was really proud afterward that I was strong enough to endure it. So come on, the twins are counting for you to be there. I, well, you see, the thing is, oh fine, I guess you're right, again. Now that they know, it's just not cool to just leave them hanging like this. Alright, I'm going. For real this time, I promise. All right, good, you better. All right. So hopefully he'll work on that. Maybe we can go back over to the twins and see how they're doing. It looks like the different spots will light up if there's different things to say to the various gods. I wonder what they think of me just teleporting around the place. <laughs> no one's reacting to that. All right, speaking of reacting, give me just a second. Hang on, twins. Let me do some exploring for just a moment here. I really want to see if I can find the last of the memories hidden away in the depths. It's not going to show up for me with my sonar, so I just have to like manually explore the area. Let's float up. Anything up here? No. Anything down with the little crabs? 
<laughs> All right, I will admit it's not like it's pulling my arm to swim with the crabs and the fish and just watch them all scuttle. All right, let's see. There's the little seahorses. Are any of the turtles carrying one? No memories there. That's the eel kingdom. Little crab putting up his dukes. Oh, I love it here. All right, well, I don't see anything here. I'll just have to keep my eyes open. I want to know more about the worlds that haven't worked out. That's important. History is there to learn from, you know? That's Moss Cavern. Okay, I got myself all turned around. Back to the twins. Maybe when I teleport, it also slips me a little bit through time. Twins? Oh, hey there. Did you need something? Did Amar come? Yeah, finally. And it was awesome. Amar took us out to the kelp forest, which we'd never been to before. It was totally crazy. Like more fish than anywhere else and all those huge leaves. So it was good for them to get out of their little dank cave. Though, you know, the teeth are really cool too. Amar wanted to do a race through the forest. That sounded fun. So we said yes. But they didn't even go the same way <laughs> as us. They knew a shortcut to the finish line and went that way instead. Cheating as usual. That's cheating. We should all go the same way to, in a race to see who's fastest. So for the next race, we told Amar to only go the same way as us and not use any tricks. And it actually worked. Believe it or not, Amar didn't do anything unfair just to win, like all the other times. Because we told them to try... We told them to try talking to Amar about the rules. I'm glad to know it worked. We still lost, though. Amar's too fast. Anyway, it was a lot more fun than last time. I guess Amar's not as much of a jerk as we thought. Yeah, and since you were the one that told us to come play with us... Uh, thanks, I guess. Oh, cool. Maybe they can teach Luta to say thank you. I'm glad we met you, new friend. Nice! We're building a friendship. We've completed a fable. I'm glad you two had a good time. Alright, so let's go ahead. And now that we've taken care of... Oh! Um... Um, hmm? Who's there? I'll say. I wanted to check out my little Lutra. Okay. Yeah, once again, the ocean has much deeper currents. Holy. Much deeper currents. Much deeper currents. Oh boy. Oh my, why did I ever think this was not something more insidious? Oh my gosh. Why did I just forget once again that this isn't just some happy little fun time ocean dancing paradise. This is creating and destroying worlds over and over and over again. You are new to this world, yes? You must be. Yours is a mind I have never felt here before. And yet, there is something familiar about you. I can help you find out who you are, if you wish. Find me in the depths and I will tell you what I know. One of my many past lives is thinking about a certain reaper in a certain Mass Effect series and just about ready to skitter right up a wall and into a tree and stay there like a cat. Of all the gods, there is one whose power has begun to eclipse the rest. Whoa. What kind of world will Ketri and Estri create? The twins are glad they met you, but a deep resentment still burns within them. Can you help them reckon with their past, or will their anger take control? So it looks like because I talk so much with the twins, I've affected them the most. Hmm. Will they create the new world? A tale is being told of a world about to be born. Discover the many outcomes and collect illustrations. Oh, so you collect the little illustrations as you meet them. There are still gods in the ocean you haven't met. Play the full game in 2020 to find them all. Holy cow! No wonder! Oh, that scared me so much. So we have actually managed to play through we started to influence the twins. I think we barely started scratching the surface on all of the different things we could do. 
and just about scared me straight into the stratosphere with the last god. Or not even the last god. I haven't even met the last two formerly. This is getting intriguing, guys. I think that that was a good reminder that things are sweet and innocent and simple on the surface. But we're talking about creating and shaping entire worlds. And things are probably going to take much deeper directions than we expected. So thank you guys. That was fun. Just a fun little demo. I bet there's lots and lots of different options you can do and that would influence the outcome of the different worlds. And uh, I, I would like to know what a world led by Lutra would actually be like. That would be kind of cool. And now we know maybe we only have a limited amount of time. Maybe by trying to do it all, I actually just picked working with the twins and working with the kelp forest the most and ended up shaping a world unintentionally. Every choice I'm going to need to make a decision much more strictly on in the future. So that'll be fun. But all right, guys, I'll see you for the full game in the future. And I hope you have enjoyed the demo. As I mentioned, it is free on Steam, so you can go and download it there. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.